Hey guys, George of Soundtracks here. This week we're going to talk a little bit about function renaming. Now, one of the things about the Blue Nami is app is that all of the functions are labeled by name, not necessarily by number, that you have to access using a complex method using a DCC system. So we're going to show you examples of how to rename your functions in both the Android app and the Apple app here coming up. So let's get started. So here in front of me, I have one of my personal models. This is a Intermountain Tier 4 Givo that I've added some extra lights, including the step lights and some cab lights, including the blue flag uh, flashing light and the red emergency cab light. Now we're gonna show you all of those here throughout the process. But because of that, there's so many different lighting outputs. We've got eight of them on our new Blue Nami 21 pin, and that's what's installed inside this model. Now, part of the challenge of all of that is trying to remember which functions do what. So here on the Android app, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can rename the functions so that that way they come up listed as you desire. But first, I'm going to go ahead and push my functions button here, and I'm going to go to functions 15 to 28. And you'll see that you see a lot of these functions here are unlabeled or unmarked, just as F22, or in the case of the lighting, you see FX3, FX4, FX5, and so on. You'll notice that on the screen, I've also got things remapped to the way I prefer them to be. And so that's why you're seeing things in the different locations. But moving over here, we see our FX3, FX4, FX5. Well, that's great, but what if I don't remember what these functions are? Well, we're gonna go ahead and fix that. So we're gonna go ahead First thing first, let's go ahead and identify which lights are which. So when I turn on my FX3, you'll notice that my ditch lights turn on. My FX4 lights are actually my number boards. The FX5 button is actually for my uh, truck lights. Now when I press the FX6, you'll notice that the stepway and walkway lights turn on all the way around the locomotive. And these are the courtesy lights so that the crew can see where they're going. Now, as you can see, they're labeled FX3, FX4, but they're hard to remember. And then of course my F28 turns on my backup light, but that's just a personal preference that I do. So we're gonna go ahead and rename these in the app. So we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, the gear setting here, and you're gonna go to the setting here where you can see manage function panel. And this is where you have the opportunity to not only make certain things momentary or uh, latching, but you can also rename everything. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll to my lighting. And you can see here where it says FX3, FX4, FX5, FX6. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply click on the bar and up here at the top you can see where I can rename this. So in this case I'm going to name this with ditch lights. So now it's labeled ditch lights and you can see in the app, you can see that it's labeled ditch lights here on the screenshot. Now we're gonna to go to my FX4 and we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna retype this N U M B E R boards. And we can do this and hit save. We're gonna do this for all the different lights. FX5 as we mentioned is our truck lights or ground lights. We'll call them truck lights for now. Save and then the last one FX6. And I'm gonna call these courtesy lights. So we save that. Now you can see in the app, you can see where all the listing. Now, as I mentioned, my F28 is my rear light. So we're gonna change this to rear headlight. And we're gonna save that. So you can see how I've made the changes here in the app. Now when I go back to my operating set section, you can actually see that now the names on each of those lighting outputs has actually changed. So when the lights are turned on and off here, as I'm turning off my ditch lights, you can see that when I turn them off and turn them on, the lights are actually coming on and off according to what they're labeled. Now the couple of other lights I have on here is an emergency stop light and that triggers when the locomotive goes into emergency and then the other one actually is tied on with the handbrake. So when I press the handbrake button you can hear the handbrake sound but then you'll also notice the blue flag courtesy light. So we can go back in here again and we're going to go ahead and manage function panel and this time we're going to go to my function 15 where it says handbrake and we're going to let add in. All right, now we're going to hit save. And you can see here, it says handbrake and blue flag light. So when I go back out to my operating settings, you can see that it says handbrake and blue flag. So that way I don't have to remember what it is. 
So you can do this with any of these function uh, buttons that you've assigned to your model through the app. Now, the one thing I do want to point out is that this particular feature, when you're renaming the functions in the app, this information stays in the app. There's no way to store that information with the decoder. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to go back and we're going to disconnect from our uh, Android tablet. And then now we're going to come over here to our Apple tablet. Now you can see that the locomotive has appeared, so we're going to go ahead and hit connect. And now the locomotive is connected. Now once you're connected to a device, you can't see it on another device. So you don't you can only be connected to one device at a time. So in order to change devices, you have to disconnect from the first, go to the second. But anyway, we're we've got our thumbs up. We're going to go to this settings here. We're going to go to the Blue Nami. It's going to please wait. It's checking and calibrating all of the CV values so that that way the menus match on our lighting effects and so forth. But now when I pull this out, you'll notice that here on the screen, everything still shows FX3, FX4, FX5, and so on. And this is where on the Apple version of the app, we simply pull this out a little bit like we've shown you in the past, in the past here. And we just simply rename it. So you will have to do this in each device that you're using on your layout. So if your friends come over, the first time they connect to this locomotive, it's advised that you take a moment label the and populate the settings in your function map roster here and then that way all of your operators will be able to run that locomotive with the appropriate buttons highlighted and named in their device so the biggest thing to remember is that when you're making the changes to the names of these of these functions you're making the changes in the app so anytime the app connects to this decoder the app settings will pull up including the function names that you've just uh, assigned so just for grins, we're going to go ahead and exit out of the Apple version and we're disconnected. Now we're going to come over back to our Android tablet. We're going to go ahead and connect. So now when we're connected, we're going to open up our function panel. And when we go over here to our 15 to 28, you can see that all the names are still there matching the locomotive. And so therefore, the data stays in the app. And the same thing with the Apple versus the Android. As long as you store that information in there, the app will retain that information and make sure that those names are there with you whenever you're connected to that app with that particular locomotive. So it's very specific to the locomotive that you are um, working with. So guys, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at Soundtracks here at 970-259-0690 or send us an email to support at Soundtracks.com. We'll always be happy to help answer any questions we can for you. We're modelers too, so we want to help you enjoy your hobby. And through the Blue Nami app and all of the settings and all the ease that it is and able to use your decoder is one of the ways we deliver that for you. So for more information and purchasing for Blue Nami products, go to Soundtracks.com or your favorite retailer today.